Indonesia are up to here with illegal fishing and foreign boats, and they're not pulling any punches neither. Indonesia are sinking over 50 seized boats from Vietnam, Malaysia, and China that were involved in illegal fishing in their waters. Suzy Pujias Tuti, the fisheries minister, has said that this action was necessary to warn neighboring countries to back off and that Indonesia is serious about combating illegal fishing. They will take your stuff and they will sink it to the bottom of the ocean where it can form a new coral reef system in the future. Lax regulations basically allowed foreign boats into Indonesian waters and it is decimating their waters and their economy. Since 2014, when President Joko Widodo took office, hundreds of foreign vessels have been sunk, over 50% of them from Vietnam. But when a Vietnamese Coast Guard vessel rammed into an Indonesian Navy ship, seizing an illegal trawler, things got salty. So Indonesia believe a show of force is now, uh, hopefully should prevent escalating violence in the future. Uh, if we don't act firm, they will be even more daring. I believe these collisions will get worse one day. This will escalate. Uh, basically, the fisheries minister went on record to say. The surrounding waters are still disputed though. China thinks it owns this bit, but Indonesia thinks it's theirs. They've even gone as far as naming the southernmost reaches of the South China Sea as the North Natuna Sea, and it's Indonesia's own exclusive economic zone. So nah. basically things are going pretty frosty and uh, around Indonesia, but we're getting some new wrecks out of it. Silver lining, I suppose. Thanks for watching guys and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.